Hey guys, the new Valheim update video is out. And uh, even though I'm super tired, a little bit delirious right now, I had to watch it and do this. So tired in fact that I actually recorded this whole video and realized my mic was on mute. Then I started it again with my mic on mute and then got it wrong about four more times. So please be kind. This might not be the best video <laughs> I've ever done. Um, just to say, we are gonna review this. Of course, all my socials, do you want to join my Valheim server? All that stuff is in the description. You guys know, you know, you know how YouTube works, right? Uh, let's have a look at the spotlight video. I will put a link to this video in the description if you want to watch the whole thing through uh, from Iron Gate. And we'll, as always, have a little comment on it and see what we can discover about the update. Welcome to the fourth part of our Hearth and Home Spotlights. In this video, we'll continue with the theme of food. Okay, so a couple of things to say. Um, first of all, I was watching another um, video on this and basically there's all different uh, food things that are coming, of course. A few that you can see on the table right here, on the left-hand side, you've got onion soup. So onions are now gonna be farmable. They talk about this later on this video. I've already seen it once because I commented on it once. Um, and they've got ice cream, not ice cream, like ice cream, I think, like with great off eyes. Uh, that's that thing on the right, right there. And it's like, like jerky and all kinds of stuff going on. So I really love that they're adding food to the game. But as always guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. With Hearth and Home, we split the ingredient raw meat into three new variants. To make each enemy drop a bit more unique, the deer... Okay, so as I said the first time I tried this video, I think this is really cool. I think then it therefore, like, it gives you a reason to hunt specific mobs, uh, which is fantastic, right? And and gives you, like, a, a bit more complexity to the game and more variety to the game for the way through. I mean, look, it's a survival game. Food is a big part of surviving in these games, so I think it's good that they've kind of made it a little bit more um, difficult, right? Um, I'm just looking in the top right of the screen right now. It says Mugen, like like Hugin, but Mu am I? What is that? I, I didn't notice that the first time around. Is that, I must be, I don't know what that is. I should look into this. Bears, boars, and wolves now drop distinct types of meat. Along with the new plantable onions, this unlocks a whole bunch of new recipes. To make okay, here we go. So new plantable onions, as she also said there, uh, a whole bunch of new recipes so just much more food stuff and also more farming stuff so i know i think that's pretty cool as well to the game emma if you're watching i know you're super happy about the extra farming possibilities um but yeah some people really enjoy farming the game so i think it's cool that they've added that i was hoping they'd allow us to farm berries i don't know if that's a thing or not but still cool that they've added onions and there's our onion soup right in front of us make sure your viking doesn't get tired of eating the same food all the time the cooking itself also gets an update Okay, so this is one of my favorite things about this update. The three things that you can see in front of us right here. Um, so they are the pots and pans on the left to help you with cooking and stuff. I mean, it looks fantastic as well as a decoration item, but obviously it's what it's going to add to the game. It's really cool. Um, also the spice rack, which is right in front of you right there. You can see the dandelions and stuff hanging on that. So there's going to be spices in Valheim <laughs> for extra recipes and things. Again, love the idea. It looks fantastic as a decoration, but also the functionality of it is very cool. And I can't remember what this third thing was. There we go, butcher table. that's it. I knew because it comes up. Um, so that's like for obviously dealing with the different types of meat. Again, nice idea and just adding more complexity to the game, which I think we'll all agree is probably a good thing. Upgrade your cauldron with cooking extensions, just like with the other crafting stations. Right, so they're upgrades for the cauldron. So I guess they don't get used directly. They're like, you know, when you upgrade your crafting stations with like, you know, a I don't know, an Adzel or something, right? So that's kind of cool. And this one right here, the stone oven, looks fantastic. I love that it can be sort of integrated with the house and have the chimney bit outside. Very realistic. And it's going to be a very cool looking addition to houses and obviously uh, some cooking utilities to it, which she's about to talk about. Additionally, the bread and the pie now have to be baked in the oven before you can eat them. So you don't have to eat soggy bread. If you're no longer happy with what you've eaten... Okay, so I've obviously already seen this, right? I laughed so much the first time I saw this. This is genuinely my favorite new thing about the Valheim update, guys. I'm just going to let it explain itself. It is amazing. You can now also have a quick snack of buke berries, and you'll soon be ready to eat something new. <laughs> just make sure your friends aren't standing too close. So there you go. You can now make yourself throw up in Valheim. That's the feature we've been holding out for. I. Th that's it. That's my new favorite thing to do in Valheim. It was the Christmas hat, which is still up there. Now I can wear a Christmas hat and puke at the same time. I am super happy. Uh, and then she just finishes the video. Time to learn how we tweak some of the weapons. So yeah, next next video is gonna be about weapons. I will be covering that one as well, of course. As I said at the start, uh, my links to stuff are down in the description. As you can tell by my eyes and my hair and the fact that I had to record this video like two and a half times because I had my mic turned off. I'm tired and delirious, which is why there will not be any dad jokes today. I'm sorry. Join my streams if you want dad jokes. You'll have plenty of them. Uh, but thank you for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next update. And as always, get involved in the comments. Let me know what you think. I love the discussion around this thing. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.